If you need to solder several header pins and you need them to plug into something else where they have to line up in a specific way, depending how big the pins on the connectors are compared to the through holes that you're soldering into, the connectors may have a lot of play, so you have to make sure you get them exactly straight. But it may be even more critical when you need two different headers to line up on each board. Or what if you need one header, but all you have are two or more smaller headers that you would like to stack together to make one single header? Now, if these align a little bit crooked in the holes, you can't plug it in. How do you get it straight? One way is to dock the pins into what you're going to be plugging it into, where you need it to line up straight. Get them situated so that they are docked as fully as possible and everything looks normal. So that's as far as these headers are willing to go in. And they look reasonably straight. Now dock the board that you're trying to connect to. Double check everything looks well aligned. Now you know that when you secure these pins, this is going to plug in no problem. Do at least one pin on each header section. Double check that everything looks okay. And none of these ends were riding up when you secured the pin. Everything still looks good, flat, and everything's the same height. So finish it off. If you only do one pin to get started and then double check the alignment, you can always just reflow that pin and twist things or push down whatever you need to do to straighten it up again. When it's all in place, then you just keep going. Now all the connections are made, you can unplug this and your headers are perfectly aligned to plug into this board. Three separate header pieces, all perfectly aligned. And if you had to actually make a single board to go double row, as well as multiple header sections, you just do the same thing. Set up all the pins first, dock the board, then secure it. Another situation where it's useful to plug in a header is if it's not actually a board-to-board -board connector. What if you're doing something awkward if you're having issues getting this soldered, it keeps slipping, you can't hold it in place, or it's just a big component lead, so it's not going very smoothly, you might end up applying way too much heat to this pin. The plastic on the header may melt, the pin might slip through, change position, or it might start separating altogether, bow in a certain direction. So instead of using helping hands and trying to free solder something, if you just plug it in where you want it to go, now you can still work on it and try not to apply too much heat. And if things do get too hot and the plastic melts, at least when it reforms, it'll be in this position. And the pin is not likely to slip and fall through because it's already docked solidly in here. So there's a couple of reasons to dock a connector when you're going to solder to it. Another situation I recently ran into, I have this ring of LEDs and I want to put one of these headers on here. So I want this connector to be as straight as possible, not moving around like this. And I want it in position so the plastic body on the connector is up against the PC board. And so I was having trouble trying to figure out how to hold this in alignment so I could make a, at least one connection and get it started. The connector itself is too small and awkward to hold on to while tacking it down. And I was going all around the lab trying to find things to prop it up on, but nothing was the right height. It was always out of position. Then I looked over and saw this stack of sticky notes. That's an adjustable shelf right there. You can get whatever height you want. It'll keep it straight. I held the connector roughly in place and wherever it would line up, that's the page I would insert it on. Good to go. Tack down at least one pin to get started. Double check that I'm happy with everything. And that's pretty much the way I wanted it. Done. Now I can plug this into a breadboard or whatever else. And that's about as good as it's going to get.
course, if I'm going to keep this vertical like this, I may want to epoxy or at least hot glue these pins and the header plastic to this PCB so it doesn't rip the pads off. But to get things hooked up, that's how I go about it. 